God, therefore, is first of all a creator, not of one physical universe, but of an infinite variety of probable existences far more vast than those aspects of the physical universe with which your scientists are familiar. He did not simply then send a son to live and die on one small planet. He is aware of all probabilities. There have been parables told and stories of beginnings. All of these have been attempts to transmit knowledge in as simple a terms as possible. Often answers were given to questions that literally have no meaning outside of your own system of reality. For example, there was no beginning and there will be no end, yet parables have been given telling you of beginnings and endings, simply because with your distorted ideas of time, beginnings and endings seem to be inseparable, valid events. As you learn to turn the focus of your attention <clears throat> away from physical reality and therefore experience some slight evidence of other realities, your consciousness will cling to old ideas that make true explanations impossible for you to understand. Multidimensional awareness is available to you in your dreams, however, in some trance states and often even beneath ordinary consciousness as you go about your day. This awareness gives personal experience with the multidimensional richness that exists not apart from, but intermingled with, within, through, and all about your physical world of sense. To say that physical life is not real is to deny that reality pervades all appearance and is aware of a it and is a part of a all appearance. In the same manner, God does not exist apart from or separate from physical reality, but exists within it and as a part of it, as he exists within and as a part of all other systems of existence. Your Christ figure represents symbolically your idea of God and his relationships. There were three separate individuals whose history blended and they became known collectively as Christ, hence many discrepancies in your records. These were all males because at that time of your development you would not have accepted a female counterpart. These individuals were part of one entity. You could not but imagine God as a father. It would never have occurred to you to imagine a God in any other form than human terms, earth components. These three figures worked out a drama, highly symbolic, propelled by concentrated energy of great force. The events, as they are recorded, however, did not occur in history. The crucifixion of Christ was a psychic but not a physical event. Ideas of almost unimaginable magnitude were played out. Judas, for example, was not a man in your terms. He was, like all the other disciples, a blessed, created, fragment personality formed by the Christ personality. He represented the self-betrayer. He dramatized a portion of each individual's personality that focuses upon physical reality in a grasping manner and denies the inner self out of greed. Each of the twelve represented qualities of personality that belong to one individual and Christ, as you know him, represented the inner self. The twelve, therefore, plus Christ, as you know him, the one figure composed of the three, represented an individual earthly personality, the inner self, and twelve main characteristics connected with the ego egotistical self. As Christ was surrounded by the disciples, so the inner self is surrounded by these physically oriented characteristics, each drawn outward toward daily reality on the one hand, and yet orbiting the inner self. The disciples, therefore, were given physical reality by the inner self as all of your earthly characteristics come out of your inner nature. This was a living parable made flesh among you, a cosmic play worked out for your, beha for your behalf, couched in terms that you could understand. 
The lessons were made plain, as all the ideas behind them were personified. If you will forgive the term, this was like a local morality play put on in your corner of the universe. This does not mean it was less real than you previously supposed. In fact, the implications of what is said here should clearly hint at the more powerful aspects of Godhood. The three Christ personalities were born upon your planet and indeed became flesh among you. None of these was crucified. The twelve disciples were materializations from the energies of these three personalities, their combined energies. They were then fully endowed with individuality, however, but their main task was to clearly manifest within themselves certain abilities inherent within all men. The same kind, kinds of drama in different ways have been given, and while the drama is always different, it is always the same. This does not mean that a Christ has appeared within each system of reality. It means that the idea of God has manifested <clears throat> within each system in a way that is comprehensible to the inhabitants. This drama continues to exist. It does not belong, for example, to your past. Only you have placed it there. This does not mean that it, is, it always reoccurs. The drama then was far from meaningless and the spirit of Christ in your terms is legitimate. It is the probable God drama that you chose to perceive. There were others that were perceived, but not by you, and there are other, are other such dramas existing now. Whether or not the crucifixion occurred physically, it was a psychic event, and exists as do all the other events connected with the drama. Many were physical, but some were not. The psychic event affected your whole world as much as the physical one, as is obvious. The whole drama occurred as a result of mankind's need. It was created as a result of that need, grew out of it, but it did not originate within your system of reality. Other religions were based upon different dramas in which ideas were acted out in a way that was comprehensible to various cultures. Unfortunately, the, difference, the differences between the dramas often led to misunderstandings, and these were used as excuses for wars. These dramas are also privately worked out in the dream state. The God-personified figures first were introduced to man in the dream state, and the way then prepared. In visions and inspirations, men knew that the Christ drama would be enacted and hence recognized it for what it was when it occurred physically. Its power and strength then returned to the dream universe. It had increased its vigor and intensity through the physical materialization. In private dreams, men then related to the main figures in the drama, and the dream state they recognized in the dream state, they recognized its true import. God is more than the sum of all the probable systems of reality he has created, and yet he is within each one of these without exception. He is therefore within each man and woman. He is also within each spider, shadow, and frog, and this is what man does not like to admit. God can only be experienced, and you experience him whether or not you realize it, through your own existence. He is not male or female, however, and I use the terms only for convenience sake. In the most inescapable truth, he is not human in your terms at all, nor in your terms is he a personality.